Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telisco Learnings and in this video we will talk about least view. Now question is what is least view in Android? So you know when you open when you go to settings in your mobile phone this is how it how it looks like. So in this in this image you can see the elements in the least format right. So we have a list the first element then the second element the th third element right and to achieve this what we have to do. So uh, we will we'll not build the same thing but we will try to build a simple list here. So this is the list we want here. We want a list of languages so we have C, C++ and all those stuff. Now in order to create this list view we have to first create an array. Okay. So this is, this is your array here. So we have, uh, we have C, C++, Java and all those languages in the array format. So we need to put this array inside this list. But the problem is in this list view object we don't have anything called as array or which it will not accept array. To do that we have to use something called as array adapter. Now if you are not familiar with array adapter you can just go to my channel search for adapter design pattern and have a look on that and then you understand what is adapter. So let's say you know about adapter so to, to work with list view and the array we require a array adapter here. So this array adapter will take the input as the array and then you can assign the values to the list view. So list view uses array adapter and array adapter uses the array. And if you run this code you will get this array adapter or you will get this uh, list view. Okay. But hold on. If you see the original image where you have the settings we have two things. We have the text. So each element will have a text and the image right. So let's say if you have a battery so battery will have an image. How to do that? So we'll try to create text example in which we will try to implement this and don't worry in the next two in the next two videos we'll talk about the practical of it okay. So we'll see how to implement each of this. So we have a new activity or new layout here in which you have an array but this in each element you have two things the image. So you can see one, two, three, those are the images and then we have a text and you can see images repeating, right? So we have one, two, three, then one, two, three, because I was running out of the images. So I've took these three images and repeated those three images 12 times, right? Or we have 12 images in total. So we have 12 images and 12 text. Now to work with this, we require an array, okay? We require two arrays. The first array which will have the list of string and the second array will have the list of images. Okay, so we can see we have two arrays there, but the problem is if you want to work, if you want to save these two arrays inside this list view, it will not directly happen with the help of array adapter because array adapter works with one type of thing, right? So in this each, uh, in this list, each element is of type. So we can see the activity there. So we have a text and an image, right? So we need to repeat this text image 12 times. For that you have to create your own or you have to create a custom adapter which will try to fetch these elements from the array and will it, it will put into a list view. But hold on, uh, when you talk about adapters it needs some specific features right or it needs some uh, common features. So what we can do instead of creating the adapter by yourself throughout you can, you can create a class adapter class which will extend the array adapter. So that we can use the existing feature and whenever you extend array adapter you have to work with two things. The first one you have to create a constructor in your class which will call the super constructor. The second will be the get view method because every time you try to render it it will require that get view method there. Now once we got the adapter so we have to create a custom adapter with these two things constructor and get view method which will use these two arrays. Right now once we got this adapter you just have to use the list view object and set the adapter with the list view. Okay so we'll try to implement the same thing in the next two videos in which you have the first video we'll talk about the simple list view in the second video we'll talk about the list view with image and text. Okay so that is from this video thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.